Often, you may want to drive your part number, your description, based on information contained in your model. For example, maybe we want to drive our part number based on the length of our tube. In IronCAD, you can now do that by actually typing in formulas into specific values. For example, if we go to our part and go to Part Properties, you have variables that you can drive into the part number, description, and also to any custom property. So let's go ahead and just do a part number. For example, maybe we want to drive our part number by that length. The way this works is similar to Excel where you just simply type equal to type in a formula. If we want to do text, we actually put that with inside of a, our parentheses. For example, maybe we'll call it this ST and uh, we'll go ahead and just put the size 3 by 3 by 0.25 and we're going to say the length value is going to be our next thing. So we'll say by, and we'll go ahead and put a parenthesis here to end our text. And to add variables, we just go ahead and simply say and, and we go ahead and actually add our variable. In our case, we can do a multiple things here. One, we can actually access variables contained on the model, for example, like the size box information, or we can access parameters. Let's do the size box first. To do the size box, I need to know what shape that I want to access that information from. So let me go ahead and click out of this, and you'll notice this disappears because we haven't had a complete formula, le formula yet. If you click back in there, it'll still be there. It just hasn't been populated yet. So let's go ahead and click out, hit OK, and what we want to access is this particular IntelliShape because our parts can have multiple features, but this is the shape that we want to access. To get to its uh, size box information, we'll go to IntelliShape Properties, and we can find out what the shape name is. This is our system name, which is called Shape 1. We'll need that information in just a second and we want to access our height handle, which is our overall, overall height of our shape. Okay, So to access this into our part properties, we need to drill down to that specific size box handle. And to do that, we can say first, we know it's shape 1 that we, re we had before. We'll put a slash, and we're going to say we want to access its size box handle. If I spell that correctly, size box handle, and we want to access the height handle. Once we click out of this, notice it automatically pulled the current value, which is 5. If we hit OK, we now have that information stored. Nothing's changed in our scene browser yet because our scene browser is based off of a part name. If we want the part number displayed there, we can simply go to Tools, Options, and we're going to go down to our parts. And notice we can change our tree display. From part name, we'll go ahead and change it to part number. And now we'll see our ST 3 by 3 by 0.25 by 5. If we go ahead and pull our handle, you'll see that that value will update once we click off of that. So it dynamically pulls that value. The nice thing about having this on the part numbers is that this can actually go through, go over to your drawing into the bill of materials so you can actually pull that information directly on the drawing. Let's try another example. Instead of the size box, maybe you want to drive this from a parameter. In our case, we still want to drive this length of this handle. So we're going to go ahead and go to our parameter table at the IntelliShape level and we're just going to add a parameter called L and we'll say this is going to be a value of 10 and hit OK. And to drive our shape we just go to our shapes and tell which handle we want to do this in. In this case is our height handle. We'll go ahead and type in our parameter name that we just created, L. So that's just a simple way to create a parameter inside of IronCAD. This is one of many ways. But now we are driving our part based on that parameter name. To access this parameter though, we need to do it at the part level. So we need to actually add one on our part level to be our main driver. So we'll just call it part L, the part length. And call it 10 as well for the value. And as an expression for our feature level, we'll just type in that value so it is now being driven by this particular one. So for example, if we change that to 12, hit apply, we'll see our shape change. We set it to 8, and apply, it changes. So let's go ahead and set it back to 10 hit apply, hit OK. Now if we go back to our part properties, we can now access a parameter name the same way as we accessed our size box information. We simply just type in the parameter at the part level that we're trying to access. In this case, it's called the part L that we just created. If we click off of this, notice it automatically populated that with a value of 10. So now if we go to our parameters again, and just change our variables here. Let's just make this a little bit smaller so we can see this at the same time. If we go ahead and make this change to, let's say, 15, hit apply. Oops. Sorry, I typed the one wrong. <laughs> go ahead and type 15 here, hit apply. It change our part. Our part number in our tree changed as well. And again, this can automatically go into our drawing. So a very simple way to do this. Again, this can be applied 
out your part number. You can do this on descriptions as well. You can access the same information. Then you can do it on custom properties as well. Enjoy.